So that brings us to our speaker tonight and what we'll be talking about. We are honored to have with us Ms. Kim Graham, who is the director of Delaware State University's newly founded Trauma Academy. She holds a master's in clinical psychology from Westchester University with a concentration in psychodrama. Ms. Graham has served as a healer in our community for more than 20 years. Her roles have been many and varied, and her work with the, from her work with the Christina Cultural Arts Center to leading Trauma Matter Delaware's community-based healing subcommittee. All of Ms. Graham's work comes from a strength-based, culturally competent, trauma-informed lens. Her focus on African-centered healing and transforming historical harm, her <coughs> engaging style, and her inspiring voice are all critical in the work of building strong community and moving towards positive systemic change. Thanks to the support of the Laffey McHugh Foundation, Pachamateris has been lucky enough to be working with Ms. Graham for the past year. And what we've been working on is transformation. The transformation of our organizational structure, both personal, professional, and the transformation of how we go about peacemaking. Um, because Pachamateris as an organization is not new. We were founded in 1967 as a protest to the war in Vietnam. I think it makes a lot of sense why people came together at that time to create this organization. I think it makes a lot of sense that this organization has needed to stay an organization for this long because sadly war is not going anywhere. But I also think it makes a lot of sense that as an organization, we need to evolve. We are evolving. And part of that evolution is why we brought Ms. Graham in to work with us, because we really want to make sure that we're able to address some of the systemic injustices that are creating the problems that we live with, especially here in Wilmington. So um, we wanted to explore different ways of healing especially ones that can acknowledge and address the generational trauma that is responsible for so many things in this city. Responsible for the violence, responsible for the segregation, and, and really we can't address the systemic injustices unless we look at them first. So, thank you very much for your presence here. Thank you for your willingness to listen with an open heart and to engage in this important work. And with that, I turn it over to Ms. Graham. There is a lifestyle that kills the spirit. I remember working with students and sometimes as early as fifth grade to see someone's light go very, very dim. And to be able to see at that age that if something doesn't happen, I can see the path that is ahead. And we have to begin to try to protect that flame while we can, so that we can be able to restore that flame. But in order to do that, we need um, the opposite of virtual reality glasses. We need something to see beyond the first level. We need to be able to see their humanity. And instead of seeing that they don't have any light, we need to say, there's the tiniest little bit of light that if I can fan that light, if I can send some some energy to that light, give that light something to consume, I'm gonna watch that light get brighter. And you won't find anybody to protect their light any stronger than someone that has almost lost their light. They will become someone that goes around and starts lighting other people's fire if we can just protect the light that they have and to be willing to do the work. 